Imagine that three different companies, company A, a manufacturer, company B, a wholesaler, and company C, a retailer, make many purchases with each other. However, the logistics work between A and B companies is performed by another company, and the logistics work between B and C companies is performed by another company. In this case, the service quality and prices of those logistics companies are different. Later, these three companies, A, B, and C, decide to systematically cooperate. So if they cooperated with two logistics companies before, now they start working with only one logistics company. In such a case, the orders received by that logistics company double, and that company naturally starts offering services to the mentioned companies at a lower price. From these short examples of three companies, we see that the systematic cooperation of those companies had a positive effect on their cost and reduced the cost of the final product. This in itself means a more affordable result. That is, as a result of these collaborations, they can become more competitive by reducing the price of the final product they present on the market. In our previous videos, we've talked about some of the topics related to marketing. Marketing performs a number of important functions, such as introducing and selling the product to the buyer. Today's topic is also related to marketing. In simple terms, marketing is a tool to deliver the product to the user. The paths through which the product is produced until it reaches the consumer are called marketing channels. For example, the manufacturer of a product, the company that sells at wholesale, and finally the company that retails to the consumer are all considered part of this marketing channel. Those marketing channels mainly come in two forms, traditional or horizontal and vertical marketing systems. The main topic of today's video is the vertical marketing system. Simply put, a vertical marketing system is when companies that produce products in the same market work together to deliver the product to the buyer. The components of this system are the manufacturer, distributor, and retailer of the product. The manufacturer produces the product, the distributor buys the product from the manufacturer and distributes it to the retailers, and finally the retailers transfer the product to the consumer. All three companies work together to maximize their profits. I should also note that the term distributor, which I used earlier, and which you'll hear frequently throughout the video, refers to companies that engage in the wholesale of products. It should also be noted that there are three types of vertical marketing systems. The first of these is the corporate vertical marketing system. In this vertical marketing system, one participant of the marketing channel controls the whole process. That is, the process of production, market distribution, and retail sale is managed by just one center. For example, let's take a look at Zara, which has made its owner a billionaire and is one of the most famous clothing brands in the world. This $14.7 billion company uses a corporate vertical marketing system. There are approximately 3,000 Zara stores around the world. The products sold in these stores are first designed in the center in Spain, and then the production process begins. The products produced are then distributed by Zara to its official stores. In the end, those products are delivered to the buyer through Zara's own stores. As you can see, all processes are managed by the center. This makes Zara a suitable example of a corporate vertical marketing system. Another vertical marketing system is the contractual system. In this system, which is called a contractual vertical marketing system, each of the companies involved in the production, distribution, and retail sales manage themselves separately. But all three try to increase their income by acting together according to the agreement between them. Franchise companies work under this type of vertical marketing system. Franchising is when the license, rights, and information about the working mechanisms of a business are given by one business partner to another party to establish this business elsewhere. For example, the Hilton Hotel, which has many branches in many countries, is an example of franchising. If you want to open a Hilton Hotel, you can get a license by paying $75,000. In addition, if the number of rooms in the hotel you open is more than 250, you have to pay $400 for each additional room. After that, you make certain monthly payments based on the contract you signed. The remaining amount after these and other expenses is your income. If you want to learn more about franchising, you can watch the video we prepared earlier on this topic. The last vertical marketing system is an administered system. In this system, 
one of the three given sides controls the common ring. The reason the management of the entire circulation is done by one side is that that side is bigger and stronger. When you think of a powerful party taking over, you might think that the manufacturer or distributor will always have a say. But retailers can also take control of the system. For example, a retail center like Walmart can easily influence the other two parties and control turnover. Now we're acquainted with the vertical marketing system and its three types. So what are the advantages of using this system? First of all, using a vertical marketing system makes the business more efficient. Because when using the system, you can control every process from production to sale to the consumer. This in turn helps you easily identify problems and quickly find solutions. On the other hand, when using a vertical marketing system, parties can join forces. For example, normally two different companies transport the product from the manufacturer to the distributor and the other from the distributor to the retail outlets. But when using the vertical system, the parties can reduce their costs to a certain extent by agreeing with the transport company. In today's video, we tried to provide as much information as possible about the vertical marketing system, which is one of the most important parts of marketing. Does your company use a vertical marketing system? If so, what type is used? Corporate, contractual, or administered? Don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments section. Thanks for